UNICEF estimates from 2022 indicate that almost a third of Morocco's population of approximately 39 million are children. So it's not surprising that so many children have been affected in some way by the earthquake. King Mohammed VI has stepped in to offer Morocco's support to those orphaned by the tragedy, referring to them as words of the nation. UNICEF warns that children are always among the most vulnerable in any emergency. The organization also says that many people, including children, are likely to have been displaced from the affected areas. The psychological torment for these children, whose parents have been suddenly taken from them, can often be traumatic. Because of this, authorities and non-governmental organizations are looking to get these children whatever assistance they need in coming to terms with their new situation. Authorities are helping all victims, but children benefit from a very special status and aid. The children who should be at school are still in shock after the earthquake. Now they need to find hope in life and go back to school. The Mohammed V Foundation is providing counseling and orientation to children. Children who have lost their parents and relatives, as well as their homes and schools, will now be taken into the care of the state. This initiative is in partnership with the Education Ministry and all stakeholders to help them gradually resume a normal life in the damaged regions. Our aim is to help these children become stable. Many civil society organizations are involved in the ambitious project to provide school supplies to Moroccan children in the most damaged regions of the North African Kingdom. King Mohammed VI is leading this national effort to provide all children with school bags and supplies. The initiative aims to assist, support, and comfort all children in affected areas in Morocco. It's part of many other actions aimed at supporting children in the country. With schools ruined in affected areas, temporary tented classrooms are being erected. Authorities and NGOs are to equip them with whatever supplies and equipment they need when schooling returns. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Marrakesh, Morocco.